Is it only you guys that are prepared for the upseason? Despite the fact that it has already started, I believe that a lot of people aren't aware of what recently occurred the week before, or I suppose also this week. To answer your question, I suppose it depends on the time of day that you guys are watching this video because of Jerome Powell. All of the assets, with the exception of the dollar, were given the go-ahead to raise prices. In my opinion, things are looking extremely excellent at this moment, guys. We need to start looking toward the tops, right? And we need to be very careful. Okay, now things looking really nice. However, for the time being, we are going to continue to put it simply, we are going to keep pumping us. And yes, there will be consolidation times immediately before the cool-off phase, before the pump restarts. This is due to the fact that rate reductions are now in the process of being implemented. Lastly, after whichever length of time, take a look at this. Did you? Know that it has been 13 months since the last time the Federal Reserve raised interest rates without also lowering them? This is the second longest span of time since the 1970s, right? Wow. Consider that, you people, don't you think? After the period from June 2006 to September 2007, when it took 15 months between the last rate cut decision or rise and the first reduction, guys, this is the only time that it has taken this long. In order to put this into perspective, the typical amount of time that passes between the last raise and the initial reduction is eight months. That's as ridiculous. As it gets, right? It seems likely that all assets will have a significant increase in value within the next several weeks to months, right? Mainly due to the fact that you can see how long they waited before they reduced interest rates due to inflation and other factors related to the economy. Despite the fact that inflation is not decreasing at all. Towards the conclusion of this year, there is a clear indication that something is fishy, but for the time being, I believe that they are about to blow all of these assets to a higher level, folks. It seems as though an eruption is about to take place. The Federal Reserve is planning to reduce interest rates in September, which would be 14 months after the most recent rate increase. Indeed, the fight against inflation has been a protracted one by. Any measure, gentlemen. All right. There are a lot of individuals in the comments who are stating that we are going to have another 2008. Right? In my opinion, yes, I am of the opinion that there will be a crisis, gentlemen. However, I cannot do it at this time since I must first witness the blow-off top. Simply because you might not like it or because you might not comprehend it, but a worldwide financial crisis 2.0 will start sometime between the years 2024 and 2025. This will cause risk assets to collapse for a short period of time, or for a little period of time, folks, and the Federal Reserve will react by providing an enormous amount of stimulus, however. Before that happens, guess what? the top blows off. Do you agree? Okay, gentlemen, this is what's going to happen. One would. Assume that this is not limited to the stock market. Bitcoin will increase by 100% if the stock market climbs by 20%. Okay, 10% when it comes to the upcoming weeks and months. I believe that things are going to get quite chaotic, don't you think? Due to the fact that some assets will do this, people, some other assets will be able to do that, and others will as well. As far as I can tell, that includes stocks, cryptocurrencies, and a few other things, right? On the other hand, I am telling you that I believe a lot of people are underestimating what this actually signifies about them finally lowering their rates after such a lengthy period of time, right? It is all of this pressure that has been built up. And this is so bizarre because they did not allow Bitcoin to go. Down, isn't it? It is relevant to Bitcoin on alternative cryptocurrencies, guys. The only thing I want to see happen is for Bitcoin to reach new heights. Is that correct? You guys need to reach new heights. Whenever anything like that occurs, the altcoin season is initiated, right? This suggests that you should look at this candle. You guys are aware that this is one of the most insane monthly candles in the history of Bitcoin, right? I would say that it is a bullish candle if you were to ask me why. Just because they, as for the guys, I have no idea who did what. I'm going to guess that the market makers are trying to dump Bitcoin so that you and I can sell our Bitcoins, even though I'm not even involved in Bitcoin. The reason we're talking about Bitcoin is because it is currently the most valuable coin in the world. As a result, Bitcoin will lead the way for all other currency wherever it goes. They wanted to dump Bitcoin right and scare everyone, and I know a lot of folks that sold down there because the problem that many blacks were experiencing at that point occurred. So this is so cunning of these guys. Okay, it's nasty because they tried to do that. What did they do other than that, guys? Bitcoin was actually purchased by those who were on the inside, and they bought it back with all their might. Look at that wick. At the bottom of the wick, which is at $49,000. Bitcoin prices are currently at $64,000 due to the rate of exchange. Guys, because that is coming your way. Exactly. It is just enormous. What if nobody notices it? Exactly. Additionally, they have been purchasing a ton of Bitcoin. 
they were able to save it. Exactly, that appears to be a Dragonfly Doji, or as we can see from the Crypto Sniper, a hammer candle. Is that correct? A bullish monthly hammer, as you guys can see, indicates a significant sell-off wick and comeback. Is that correct? That, that is absolutely ridiculous to even possess. That indicates that there is a great deal of pressure to buy, right? I'm going to guess that what's going on right now, guys, is that Donald Pump will come into action, but when, when he does, the markets will fall. All right. On the other. And this faction will blame him for the impending economic downturn. The game plan is as follows. We are aware that it was they who were doing it. To put it another way, I believe that what the people are going to do, what they are going to do today, is that they are going to pump the markets, right? Guys who are extremely, extremely hard. As soon as he enters the picture uh, pump, the markets are going to drop once more, right? He is held accountable, but after that, we are most. Likely going to take things to the next level, right in that year 25. In the final moments, it is going to be absolutely absurd, and it is going to be a roller coaster. Are all of you prepared to go on to this section right now? Really, I am, and it is most likely going to happen in the next few weeks to months, people. To add insult to injury, we all know that he claims to be purchasing everything, right? Take a look at that. While he is saying this, he is essentially purchasing all of the Bitcoin decant guys if they are purchasing. They are purchasing. They are aware of something that a great number of others are unaware of, right? Furthermore, who is it in particular? Take a look at this. Among the items that were sold were Genesis, Jump, Germany, and Grayscale. Just a single bot. That was BlackRock, by the way. Simply. Because they have been making purchases nonstop. Are you asking yourself why? Exactly. What a strange sight this is, guys. The situation appears to be a fight, doesn't it? Interesting to note. This is due to the fact that these individuals most likely are aware of what is going to happen in the near future and are planning to dump on retails, retails head guys at the top, right? It is impossible for them to fail men because they are successful in the markets. All right, so have a look at this. Pay close attention because according to the presentation that the Coinbase Institutional Presentation guys gave, we are seeing institutions engaging with us and huge on-chain volume shifts signal that they are the ones driving the price action. Guys, they have entered the market and they are trading vigorously. Do you all understand what I'm trying to say? In addition, we do occasionally receive requests for due diligence from significant organizations and we do receive such requests very frequently. These requests include a wide range of inquiries concerning the manner in which we are organized. Furthermore, this furnishes us with evidence that there is interest from the institutional sector. And then there is the second thing that you would look at, which is actually some significant trades or significant moves on a specific day, which would imply that there is an institution behind it. But cryptocurrency, as we all know, has its beginnings in the retail commerce industry. On the other hand, as each week passes, we observe that it is climbing up the food chain, if you will, from Two private banks to family offices, wealth managers, hedge funds, and finally larger institutions. This progression is occurring in a very consistent manner. It is common knowledge that they are currently engaged in trading nevertheless. There are still a significant number of individuals who are more cautious by nature and who are still, you know, waiting to sort of cut their teeth. But in addition to that, it is wonderful to have a product and an innovative product from Eurex, such as this Bitcoin ETM futures in your possession. A whole other category of investors is also able to participate in the asset class as a result of this. It would appear that they are all interested in Bitcoin people, right? That drive is. That floods more liquidity into Bitcoin, which drives price higher. If they desire Bitcoin, that drive is. That. Not to mention, we have received astonishing news, and this has made me extremely excited. If I am being honest with you guys, I believe that by the end of November, the maximum value of Bitcoin will have reached new all-time highs of